All right, you guys, today we're going to take a look how to make this black liquid typo here in Photoshop. And this was inspired from Maria, and I did tweak the little bits to make it nice and high resolution. And the whole thing started here in Illustrator. I restylized this graffiti typo in something more liquid with vector shapes. As you can see, this was the evolution from second option, of course. And this was the very first. And in this is what it evolved. So I'm going to select it, press Ctrl C. And let's go to Photoshop. This is my artboard size, by the way, width and height. And I'm going to press Ctrl V. I'm going to go with Smart Object, click OK, press and hold Alt, scale it up. All right, so from here, I'm going to double click on the layer with the text and I'm going to activate the gradient overlay. I'm just going to use the black and white. And let's go to Bevel and Emboss, make sure it's on smooth, inner bevel. And I'm going to go and decrease the depth somewhere on the 100 and 110 size, increase it a little bit more, somewhere around 50, and the soften is going to be on 11. Let's arrange the angle, 130 and 60. Also, the gloss contour has to be on this one right here. Let's push up the screen and the multiply even higher. And now we're already starting to have that bubbly effect here, and I'm going to click OK. Press Ctrl J on the layer to duplicate. And we're going to go here to the fill, decrease it to zero. Let's double click on the layer. I'm going to uncheck the gradient overlay. And let's check the inner glow. I'm going to go with some light color. Click OK. Opacity somewhere on 30. Let's go to bevel and emboss. And let's go and decrease the depth. Let's go to somewhere around 80, 84. Size is going to be on 70-ish. And I'm going to decrease the softness somewhere around 9. Now these settings are going to work mostly for these thick and chunky bubbles that I got here. Okay, so from here, let's go here to the opacity at the highlight mode, increase it. So it's going to be 80 and this one also somewhere around 80. Click OK, press Ctrl J again to duplicate. Let's go to the top layer, double click. Let's go uncheck the inner glow and let's go to the bevel and emboss. Increase the depth. I'm gonna go with 251. The size is gonna be somewhere around 20 ish. Check this out. 30 also is really nice. I'm gonna go with 30 ish. Soft is gonna be 8. And I'm gonna go and decrease the opacity on the highlights, somewhere around 50. And on the shadow is gonna be somewhere around 60, 67. And look at that. Click OK. And this is how I make this really cool black liquid text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.